sampling, <laughs> chopping, time stretching. <laughs> We're going to be covering it all today. So let's just get right into it. MPC Beats, free software. We're going to open up an empty project, go to this sampling tab. We're going to be sampling some vinyl today just to show you how easy it is to use this software. All right, for the sample, we're going to keep it simple. You know, rock some sensations. We've got the Audio Technica turntable already mic'd up. Already know we want, um, if you take a look right here, we want side one in a lifetime. I know the beginning of that is going to have just something real easy to chop up. So we've got the Audio Technica coming out of there into the Focusrite 2i4. I think this is like one of the first or second generations. And so you see here, we just have these uh, quarter inch adapters going in. All right, check it. Now that we've got our sample in here, we can come back to this, uh, what is this, this sample editor <laughs> and start to manipulate this thing. So we got quite a few options. First of all, the most normal one is to normalize it. We've got a few functions in here, you know. We can um, reverse it, that's a pretty cool thing. Fade in, fade out, pay, pitch shift, all that good stuff. We're just gonna normalize it for now, turn that thing up, and then uh, cut it to the beginning so that we can see what we're going on. So in this sample editor, Here's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be aligning the loop. So we want to get ourselves like a, a regular bar loop. So like a four bar loop is what I'm going for. So. And you can see by normalizing it, we just increase the volume of everything. So right there, that's the four bar mark. We're just going to grab the first four bars. So right here, we'll just chop this up. And now we should have um, a pretty solid loop and we will be in good working order. So what we're actually going to want to do is extract this. Yeah. So we're gonna extract this into a new sample. We're gonna call it uh, Temptation 1. Do that thing. So where's Temptation 1? Here we go. So this is our four bar sample. Let's just confirm. One, three, four, two, two, three, Four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. All right, so we already know that this is going to chop up real nicely, but here's the key, ladies and gentlemen, the absolute key. Budget approved. What we're going to want to do here is go into our, what is this called, man? I don't know what these, the track view, okay? And so this is going to align our sample with the entire project. We're going to drag this sucker in here. We know that we've got a four bar sample, right? Because that's what we did. So let's just uh, make this four bars here. Yep, yep. Up to five, one. Now, I hope you're paying attention because this is where... This is where this video pays off right here. We're gonna, I'm on PC right now, so we're gonna hit the control key. You see that? That's money right here. This is pitch correction, pitch shifting, time stretching. It's all that stuff, all right? So we're in 120 beats right now, and now our sample is lined up. Watch this. That's the beauty. And so, right, this is perfect if you're working for loops. If you want to, you, you can time stretch anything now if you just chop it up to four bars or whatever, even bar count, and then and then just align it. It doesn't even have to be four bars. It can be whatever you want because, you know, it snaps to the grid. Perfect. So now let's delete this and let's get into some some chopping mode. You know what I'm saying? And so they, they make this so easy, man. You just come back to, what, what tab is this? Sample, edit. We got the chop screen here and look at this. We could chop by threshold, we could chop by regions. 
I'm going to want to do regions because we didn't, we didn't do all that work, you know, aligning everything for nothing. And now check this out. Chopped like an MPC. I don't even have a, I don't even have a MIDI controller right now. I'm just using my mouse. You know what I'm saying? I need to stop smoking weed. <laughs> anyway, I got a little distracted there. So yeah, that sounds good. That is how you chop samples. And you could do, like I said, you could do a whole bunch of this stuff. So let's check out uh, slice seven. Let's just um, reverse slice seven. Do it. Yeah, and so you could reverse individual pads. You can fade in, fade out. We could even pitch shift pads. So here we've got this one. Let's pitch shift it. I don't know, uh, but uh, we don't want to do micro tones. We want to do like even, let's pitch it up mm, five, five. I, I assume this is semitones. Let's see. Yeah, already we've got something interesting going on and we haven't even spent five minutes, you know So this is again the power of the free software MPC beats We could easily record a track put some drums over this and it's ready to go All right, maybe we'll do that and continue on in the next video Remember 3k subs and I'm dropping that huge gigabyte sample pack for free peace